The reports say the head of the Catholic Church, Pope Benedict XVI, has resigned due to widespread corruption in the Vatican. Italian media reports say an internal church probe has informed the Christian leader about a series of blackmails, grafts and underground gay sex in the Vatican. Unnamed sources have revealed that three cardinals, including the former head of the Vatican Secret Service, were among the suspects in allegations of fraud. Corruption in the Catholic Church was exposed after the so-called VatiLeaks affair. VatiLeaks is a series of documents involving leaked Vatican information about corruption there. They first came to light last January. The Pope will officially leave his post on February the 28th. We'll discuss that a bit further. And I'm joined by Mr. Kevin Barrett, who is Muslim who is with the Muslim Jewish Christian Alliance, who's joining us now via Skype from Madison. Mr. Brett, thanks a lot for joining us now. Why exactly would the Pope resign from the church, leaving it in such a condition? Well, this is uh, essentially unprecedented. It's been, I believe, seven centuries since something like this happened. And just hours after the Pope resigned, I published an article pointing out that obviously he did not simply resign because he was old. Um, popes do not resign, they are fired by God. <laughs> they, they normally die in office. Uh, and so it's, obviously there was something uh, very serious going on causing the Pope to resign. And the reports coming out now, including one recently published in La Repubblica in Italy, suggest that it is indeed uh, Vatican corruption that has caused the Pope to resign. The uh, sources close to the Pope said that there was a, a closeted homosexual ring high, at a high level in the church. And there was also a tremendous amount of financial corruption. And they said that the Sixth and Seventh Commandments were being uh, systematically violated at the high levels of the church. The Sixth Commandment forbids uh, corrupt uh, sexual acts, and the Seventh Commandment uh, enjoins theft. So uh, this is actually a very common problem in all Western societies. It's not just the church. The, the entire West, I believe, has... Uh, has started violating the Sixth and Seventh Commandments. We have very, very widespread financial corruption, and indeed, it is money that motivates uh, most people now in the West. It isn't religion. And uh, sexual morality no longer exists in the West, and especially at the high levels. Just to give you a couple of examples, both Presidents Bush here in the USA were known to be uh, consorting with call boys, that is, underage male prostitutes who spent the night in the White House. Uh, the headline from the Washington Times newspaper for Thursday, June 29th, 1989 says, Homosexual Prostitution Inquiry Ensnares VIPs with Reagan and Bush. And the subhead is, Call Boys Took Midnight Tour of White House. That happened under Bush the Elder in 1989. And uh, again, with his son in office uh, after 9-11, we had Jeff Gannon, a homosexual prostitute, posing as a journalist, spending the night repeatedly with the president in the White House. Uh, and this is so systematically covered up by the Western media, but not enough to prevent people to know about it. And so there's, there's all kinds of uh, sexual decadence and blackmail and financial corruption at the highest levels in the West. And unfortunately, it seems to have touched the Catholic Church. All right, we'll have to leave it for now. That was, that was Kevin Barrett with the Muslim Jewish Christian Alliance speaking to us live via Skype from Madison. Sir, we do appreciate your insight.